Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Spreadsheets and Google Forms to create one shareable online math book with your students, including all the test results. I'm also going to show you the way you can give the students feedback, you can check the students' progress, and also make valid assessments. In fact, this is our final result. Let's dive into it. Okay, so now I will just go to Google Drive and create a blank spreadsheet in Google Sheets. Okay, let's rename it to Year 9 Mark Book. Save it and close it. Now you can already see I got Quizlet, a test, and also another numbers quiz. So I would like to link both to the mark book. Okay, so let's try with the numbers quiz. So you want to go to the response and then click the three dots to select response destination and you want to select existing spreadsheets so that's connect to the year 9 mark book selects okay that one is done so it says spreadsheet linked now we do the quizlet one as well so again you select response destination and select existing spreadsheet again that's link to the year 9 mark book select okay now when you go back to my drive and you open the year 9 mark book it will already be the records will already be synced in there so you can see all the data are there. Okay. And now I would like to change the name of the sheets to obviously link to the actual quiz. And here you have uh, all the marks in one Excel spreadsheet and obviously you can also highlight for example I always highlight the scores and you can also sort the sheet by alphabetical order so you can sort it by students names or by the numbers and so on And then now you can also uh, make it as tight as how many characters they are. Or instead, you can just highlight all the columns that you would like them to become narrow and just double click on top and again double click on any of the top lines and it becomes as narrow as possible and now you can also go back to see the red fonts are the ones I think the students are making more stick with so I can highlight this and ask the students to correct them based on the questions I hope you find the video really useful. If you like my other teaching ideas, please also see the videos on the right. And um, you can also subscribe to my channel for further updates.